Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day number five of 100 Days of Fusion. Today we're going to work on something a little bit different um, than what we've done before. We're actually not going to make any parts. I'm actually going to encourage you to download a part I've already made and just manipulate the view cube and some of those pieces in there. So I'm going to go ahead and hop on over. And what you see here is this view cube that I've made. I'm going to put this file up on the uh, the website and on the, uh, down in the, the description on this YouTube uh, video. But in here, you can download this cube. Now I know you can share in uh, in in Fusion, but the problem is is that if we share this and we have 15 to 20 different students all sharing the same file on Fusion, you might run into problems. Uh, where one student's trying to rotate, another choose. So what I'm going to encourage you to do is just download this and then upload it on to Fusion. So how do we do that exactly? Well, you're going to click on this link and then it's going to ask you to download. You're going to go ahead and download that file. And then in Infusion, what you're going to do is I'm going to go to New Design. I'm going to go to File and Upload. And it's going to ask where these files are. Now, in my Fusion file folder, I should have. There it is. And then I'm going to click Upload. All right, this is going to upload a Fusion um, format. And so I should be able to do is I should be able to go ahead and open up this object. Now, you notice when I uploaded it, it didn't immediately open it up. I've just uploaded it to my cloud-based drive and so you have to still have to go in and open up that cube. So now this is opened up and we can play around with it a little bit. What I want you to practice on um, and what I'm going to kind of show today is how to manipulate this view cube to move your part around easily. The first thing I'm going to denote is this thing up in the top right is called is your view cube and uh, notice that when you hover over it, some buttons show up. Right now you can't really see much, uh, but if I hover over, you notice that we find a, a home button and a drop down button as well. So if I click on the front face, it'll take me just to the front face. If you want to click on your front right top corner, it allows you just to go to your front right top corner, and any of these other corners will take you there as well. Not only can you pick on a face, but you can also pick on a corner or a three-sided corner, um, just so that we can see just two sides or three sides, whatever you're looking for. Um, but let's say, for example, as I'm learning this around and I get my thing totally messed up and it's way over here and I can't figure out how to come back. Well, while you're learning this, um, there's a nice little button. So when you hover over, you see this home so I'm going to click on home. It'll just immediately orient to me back to home. Now, if you do um, a, let's say, some improper building of your piece and your home is not exactly what you want it to be, no need to worry. You don't need to remake your part. You can just change what the home view is. So, for example, let's say if I wanted this to be the home view when I come back to my part, if I were to click home right now, it would just rotate it back. But what you can do is click on this little drop down menu and then reset uh, as home. So now when I go to a different side and I click this home button, it should, there we go, set current view as home and fit to view. Alrighty, well, let's try this out. So if I click front and then I click home, there we go. So this allows you to play around with what you see. One thing I'm also going to look at is what is else is available in this drop down menu. You can change the perspective types you have. So you can do uh, orthographic projections or perspective projections about what this object is really going to look like in real life. You can see that um, this is a three point view. Alrighty, and I'm going to go back and just fix this and reset current view as home. All right, now for the fun part, here's what I want you to do. I tried to upload where uh, in the background it would play uh, some sort of music that you're gonna dance along to with your ViewCube. However, YouTube's audio is down right now and uh, it won't allow me to upload the, the cha-cha slide. So here's what I want you to do. On a different tab, pop up in either Cupid Shuffle or cha-cha slide or some other um, fun song where it gives you specific directions to go to 
and then play along with that as well. So for example, if we're doing the chop chop slide, it says, says in the song right, we go to the right cube. If it says left, we go to the left. Now notice I did none of this by clicking up on that view cube in the top right. I did all of this by manipulating my mouse. So there's two other things I want you to show before you go on and try this on your own, is when you are using your mouse, if you hold down the mouse wheel, you'll notice that you get a little hand symbol, and this allows you to move your object in a two-dimensional plane. If I want to rotate my object in a three-dimensional way, I'm gonna hold the shift key in the mouse wheel, and you notice my icon changes a little bit, and this allows me to rotate pretty easily. This is something I really want you to practice on um, and getting used to doing this because it allows you to rotate your part quickly. Um, and so being able to make most effective use of your time is going to be really important. Alrighty, so go ahead and play cha-cha slide or something and then focus on holding down the shift key and the mouse wheel to rotate your part as needed. Alrighty, and I'm going to go ahead and go to home, go to the front, and so if it says the front, Go to the front, go to the, or says go to the right, go to the right, go to the left, go to the left, and then come back to front. If you ever get lost, click on that home button, uh, but you should be pretty go, pretty good to, uh, to try this out on your own. Alrighty guys, if I get some time, and uh, I might upload a video of me doing this as well, but it was uh, pretty fun um, to just play around with this VCube and just get used to it. Uh, you're welcome to... Do whatever you want with this in your classroom. So if you just want your kids to follow along um, or if you want them to do some sort of activity on their own as well. I imagine you could do something a little interesting with this as far as um, giving them a story to tell and then um, based on uh, as a story as a class who's on the right face at the right time. Um, but you're welcome to use VCube as much as you want. Just getting some practice around with it. Uh, good luck and I'll see you on the next video.